Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our dear brothers. This is the translation of the message that he sent to me. The translation reads like this. Hello brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity? I have come here on your platform and I want to confess. My name is Tawanta, not his real name. I am 30 years old. I was once a simple bus tout struggling to make ends meet on the streets of Harare. Life, I don't want to lie to you, life was very hard and each and every day was a battle for survival. But all that changed when I made a choice, a choice that has been haunting me to this very day. So I grew up as an orphan. My father, it was said that my father, he was a mechanic and he had a lot of money and he used to take care of his own relatives relatives but after my father had passed away that was when his relatives they came and they stole everything that once belonged to my father so my mother it was said that she went with me to her own people so my father and my mother they had met in harare and my father he had never gone to introduce himself to my mother's relatives so they were angry that my father had kept their daughter in the city for a very long time because my mother when she came to harare she came to work as a maid by the time that she returned back both of her parents they had passed away and some of her relatives so her remaining relatives then they told her that it was impossible for them to accept me and accept her as well since she had not even done anything like to build any house at her parents compound so that was when my mother thought that it was far much better for her to just leave me. My mother left me in the forest and I was helped by this other old woman and I started staying with that old woman. Then I came back to Harare when I was a little bit older. So when I came to Harare, all that I knew was that I had to look for my father's relatives. I then started working at Mare as a bus tout. Then years ago, that was when I was approached by a man. This man, I think that he saw the desperation that were written in my eyes. He told me about a way to escape the poverty and hardship that had been my constant companion. He introduced me to the dark world of rich walls, promising me wealth, blinded by greed and a desire to change my life, knowing that in this world I do not have a relative and I do not have anyone that that likes me. I agreed to the terms of the covenant. Today, Brother Nashi, I want to confess to you and I stand before you as a rich man. I am a blesser, as they call me. I drive your fancy cars. I wear the finest clothes and I live in a luxurious house in Rua. But the wealth that I have come, it it comes at a terrible price, a price that no amount of money can ever justify me. I just had this other girl who was from Tanzania, a beautiful one. I booked her online and she came to my country and I spent a month with her. The woman was just beautiful, white like a white woman, yet she was a black woman. And then I sent her back to her country. So at the center of my wealth, there is a python, a creature that is more than a snake. It is my source of power, my link to the dark forces that fuel my riches. I travel everywhere with it. If I am able, I have to travel with this snake, for it is the key to maintaining my fortune. But it also comes with a curse. I have a covenant that forbids me from ever getting married, for the python is my my partner it even has the private part of a woman it is my companion and it demands that i be i have to be loyal total loyalty in my house i even have an altar so this altar i make sure that the room where the altar is is always clogged 
and that is a place where I perform rituals that keep my money flowing. The altar is where I place used sanitary pads from the women from the women that I have been with. Take for an example this girl from Tanzania when she came to our country and made sure that she was going to stay with me for as long as she wanted and I also wanted her to be on her periods whilst she was at my place. So whilst she was on her periods she will just place a used sanitary pads into the refuse bag later on i'll pretend as if i will be taking the refuse bags to the big bin that i have outside but then i will remove the sanitary pad so each and every time i take i will take the sanitary pad and go with them into my office the room where my altar is and then i will feed this sanitary pad to the snake but these women that I'll be with, like this girl from Tanzania, she does not even know that the fact that I took her used sanitary pad and donated her blood, a period blood, to my snake, she is doomed for life because eventually this snake is going to follow her in Tanzania. She is going to see fire. She will be followed by this snake and this snake will slowly drain her blood until she dies. I can even see the faces of some of the women that I once used for these rituals, those that trusted me with their bodies and their love, those that were innocent, unaware of the fate that waited for them. The darkness in me made me to sacrifice all of these women, and these women are the, are the price that I must pay. Every day, Brother Nashi, whenever I think about some of these innocent women, some of them that I picked when they were going to college, and then I tell them that I really love them, and then I find a way to steal their sanitary pads. Sometimes it is like I hear their voices, especially those ones that died, as if I hear their voices in my nightmares. I know that I am the one who is responsible for their suffering and for the way that they died so this python each and every time when it wants blood it just goes to those women the ones that i will have sacrificed their sanitary pads at my altar it will be able to sniff them with their blood that period blood that will be on their sanitary pad it will be sniffing around in the spiritual realm until it finds this girl and slowly but surely it will start to suck the blood of that woman that i would have once dated Usually it happens at night when the girl is fast asleep, like she can have a weird dream. In her dream, she might be breastfeeding a snake or she'll be bitten by a snake. Then when she wakes up, if she touches herself, she can even see a few droplets of blood at the place where she would have been bitten by that snake in her dreams if she is able to see that blood then it means that the end has begun she will start to feel so weak she will get so sick and when she goes to the hospital it will be like she will be signing her own death certificate she will be sentencing herself to death the only way that she can survive if she can get prayed for before she goes to the hospital but i cannot get married i cannot have a family i cannot find peace the python the altar the rituals they have taken everything from me i feel like a prisoner a slave to my money this is my confession brother nashi dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our dear brother so that was a confession of the message that he sent to me strange things indeed they do happen in this world just imagine he was saying that he booked he booked a woman all the way from tanzania Yo.
but I treat Fana Ava like